YouTube channel. So today's video, this video it's all about how I did this look. I'm feeling this purple. I'm feeling this purple and pink. Like it looks just oof. It looks so cute. You know, I won't talk too much in this video, but before we jump into the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to add in my social medias. I add my Snapchat and follow my Instagram. Thumbs up this video and um because your girl is coming with fire. Like the way this came out though. It did though. Oof. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I'm gonna scroll in my next video. Bye bye. Okay, yo, I am not gonna lie, I love this concealer. This is NC30 Matte Concealer, it's so thick. Um, and for my under eyebrows, I use this concealer. It's also MAC NC45, this is darker than this. I love this because it's just, oh, you need to get yourself these concealers, they're really, really good. Especially when it comes to applying heavy eyeshadows, like more than just two colors or one color. This, I recommend this concealer 100% because it's thick, you don't need a powder to dry it up or nothing. You can still use powder to dry it up, but to me I see no point of using powder because this is thick enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this NC30 and then I'm going to start applying on your eyelid until it looks like this. different brush and then blend it in slow because you don't want to go crazy this is concealer listen if your concealer or your base whatever you call it your eyeshadow base is a mess there's no way you're getting nice eyeshadow they all gonna look a mess so you always have to make sure the bottom of the look looks right so usually I like going in slow with the base very slow especially close my eyebrows because you don't want to miss it up the line as well okay yo I kind of like how this came out okay it looks good use powder to like blend in the concealer doesn't mean that you should also do the same so to me it works like this and I think I want to stick to this technique because it still works for me